Hey, what's up guys? It's Sheena back with your weekly readings for the sign Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And this week we're going to be focused on your love. Um, only because I feel like you guys love knowing about what's going on in your love life. And I love doing love readings. So we're going to start off with Taurus. We're going to see what's going on this week with you. The first card we have is the mask is on. This person feels worth the wait. How do you truly feel about this situation or this connection? What is your thoughts on this union or this relationship let's see what we have here heartbreak we got the mask is on and then the heartbreak card it's like you're still pissed about something that happened um and for you it's like you're trying to be strong you're trying to make it work but you're deep down in the core you're still like pissed about it um but this person is just like please like just wait it out like be patient um let me show you let me prove to you that i can do better and then the outcome of the situation is let's see we get a flyer hands of time wants to grow old with you wanting to grow old with you so this person is someone who really really loves you taurus and i do have the feeling that you love them too you do see them as someone you could grow old with there's definitely a connection with with you two there it's just a matter of healing from the situation maybe you need to just speak about it a little more maybe you need to write a letter to yourself and just see it in letters and just burn that shit so that you can get over it and move on with your relationship now, let's see what's going on with our virgos what's going on with virgos this week and the love department what's going on let's see let's see let's see okay planning ahead so some of you guys are having babies you're planning for um for things that are out of your control so i do feel like a lot of you guys are actually having babies or thinking about having babies or planning things like weddings um graduations and stuff like that but in regards to love i feel like you're planning something with someone that you're with now how do you feel about this planning we have the unclear part here, okay? So with the unclear card coming in, I feel like you're planning things, but again, a lot of things are unclear. You're having to plan things as they come, and it's like there's a lot of moving parts in the situation, so it's it's impossible for you to plan things to a T because there's things constantly changing. Listen, listen to the songs in your heart. Focus on the things that make you happy and everything else will sort itself out. We have argument, argument. Are you hearing each other? So we see two people arguing. So I feel like all of this that's going on, all of this planning and stuff, Virgo, I feel like it has you really, really drained, really tired mentally. And you're just like, okay, like I have so much I have to do. And I'm very, very unclear on a lot of things. But at the end of the week, we see you guys having some kind of argument. Um, and I really feel like this is all things that can be resolved. It's just a matter of getting through these trying times and no relationship is easy so hang in there virgo things are going to work out now our last sign is capricorn what is going on with our capricorns this week in the love department show me spirit what i need to see for capricorn Ooh, capricorn you're going on a date this week all right and how are you feeling about this date how are you feeling about going on this date change of heart so Capricorn, you're feeling like you there's parts of you that wants to get out there and meet someone, but then you're just like, oh, I don't know if I want to go on a date. What if like I don't like that person? And what if I wasted my time? What if I go get ready and spend all this energy getting ready? And I'm like, why did I do this? So there's like half of you that wants to go out, and then the other half of you is like, should I just like cancel with this person? Your advice is friends. Maybe you need a good talk with your boys or with your girls and let them know like, yo, this is how I feel. I'm going on this day. I'm not really sure. Like, what is your advice? And what is your outcome? What is the outcome? Are you going on this date? It looks like you are. And I think all that worrying that you're doing, Capricorn, on whether you're going to like this person or not is a bunch of baloney. I really think it's just maybe you've just haven't dated in a little while and you're just like, what am I going out there? What am I going to experience? And with the first kiss card, it looks like you and this person are actually going to hit it off and all this worrying is for nothing. And you guys are actually going to kiss on your first night and it's going to feel amazing and it's not going to be like fireworks, unicorns, and rainbows. So don't think too much about it, Capricorn. Put your best on. Um... Just go out, experience it. You might really, really hit it off with this person, okay? Don't overthink it. That is the conclusion of this week's reading. If you enjoy it, please give this a thumbs up. Share if you care. Comment below. Let me know how you're feeling. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.